Alright guys, we are here at Varus Engineering. I'm Eric and we are doing a crank case vent setup with our AOS. Uh, we're also calling this an auto drain back kit because it will automatically drain the oil from the air oil separator into the crank case. We've heard from customers that there is oil coming from the crank case vent. I don't fully understand how because the crankcase vent is basically a one-way check valve into the engine, not out, into the engine. Um, I've blown on it, I've pulled a vacuum on it, and I can only get the vent valve to vent into the engine. So how people are getting oil out of the engine, not fully un understood on my part. That being said, we still came up with a solution. We've been testing it on our car for five months now, something like that, and we haven't thrown a check engine light, we haven't, blown a bunch of oil, there's been no adverse effects, so that's why we're releasing it. So for those of you that want to have a drain back feature, as well as vent the crankcase stuff through our AOS, the crankcase um, fumes through our AOS, uh, this, is, this is the kit for you. Um, overall, the install is not hard. Probably the hardest part is removing the intake itself, but otherwise the, intake, er, the install is very straightforward. Um, first, I'm going to go over what's included in the kit. I'll go over the tools required and then we'll do the install. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So as far as kit components for the crankcase vent and slash auto drain back, we've got about 20 inches of 5 16 hose. We have hose clamps. We have a 5 16 to 6 an o-ring boss adapter. We have our replacement drain petcock. Uh, this will go in the bottom of the AOS. We have a 5 16 uh, block off that we'll use on the intake. And that is, that, that's, is, that's all that's included in the kit. Um, really not that much. Uh, a few billet parts and uh, a few stockable products, but otherwise that's it. As far as tools required, uh, we have a screwdriver, T30, wobble, extension, quarter inch drive ratchet, side cuts, uh, razor, and a heat gun. Uh, heat gun's not necessary, but uh, recommended. First part of the install, we're going to remove this box. Basically, there's four of these little clips, clip them, unclip them, and then um, a Flathead screwdriver undoes that, and then we're gonna flip that up. You can just leave this guy connected, and then remove the filter. You could probably leave the filter, honestly, but uh, we remove the filter. That's the first part of the install. So really quickly, we've removed the, the hat, I guess the filter top, I don't know what you wanna call it, in the filter, and now we're gonna have to remove the intake, and it's really difficult to see down in there, but down in the bowels, Right down there, there we go. Right there, maybe a little bit you can kind of see. There's a hose clamp on the intake and that is what we have to remove. We also need to remove that guy. Um, it's not focusing, but that is the crankcase vent and then you can't see the other end of the crankcase. You can just barely see it. It's, it's all the way on the block, um, but that is the one side of the nipple is right there. The other side is on the block. You can kind of see it, but that's what we're going to do next. And, and it's not a fun part of the install. It's probably the worst part of the install. So good luck. Moving the intake from the car is probably the hardest part of this entire install because of this guy. This guy really stinks to remove. Um, I wish I could tell you that there's an easy way or a way that I figured out how to take it off without um, basically uh, cursing but I have not figured it out. I've always basically ended up seeing, pulling this all the way off. Um, and the good thing is though, during reinstall, you can basically have it all the way in and it will, it will basically install just fine. Um, honestly, if, if anybody has recommendations on how to remove these better, um, I'm all ears, but in my opinion, they suck. Um, yeah, so in car, you'll be able to kind of feel these little ears. There you go. 
now it focuses these ears and you can kind of pull this and then I pull and then I ended up pulling it all the way off because um, even then you can see that it still sticks in there and it still catches that lip so until it, it's fully removed um, it kind of just is a pain um, but yeah for reinstall you can actually have it all the way on push it on and it'll go on no problem to remove the crankcase vent from the block i, re I recommend using a t30 torx swivel and a and an extension and that's right there sorry it will it's sort of focusing on it but not really and if you don't know where that's at that's how that that looks with basically so there's the turbo inlet and it is right there it's not easy to get to once again this is the contraption that i use so t30 wobble extension on a quarter inch drive and you can remove that and then we can get that hose out and modify it as we need to all right guys so we have the little crankcase vent valve um, this is a this is on the block side. It's a one-way check valve that goes into the engine. So this is why I don't fully understand how people say they're getting oil out of this. I don't fully understand this yet, but regardless, this is the crankcase vent hose. Uh, we disconnect this side from the intake. This side comes off with, uh, I need to check, but I believe it's a T30 Torx, and that is on the block itself. So we remove that, and then we're gonna use a heat gun we're gonna heat up the hose and then use a razor blade and gently slice off. And we're actually reusing both this and this. Um, a lot of people tend to break these, uh, try not to. They are a little brittle, but um, basically when you're squeezing this, they tend to break. Um, luckily I did not break mine. But anyways, these are, um, these are for sale uh, by Toyota. I think they're about $35. Um, again, one-way check valve. We're gonna reuse both sides. Um, let's go do that real quick. All right guys, so one part of the install is changing out the drain petcock, which is that guy, on the AOS to a through petcock. Um, basically, this is a same thread, everything. The only difference is, is that this unit has a dash six O-ring boss and a through hole. I don't know if you can actually see it yet. So you can actually see there's a hole in that one. So this one will always drain. This one only drains when you unthread it. So unthread this one out of the AOS. There is an O-ring right there. Let's see if I can. There's an O-ring right there. Not on this one, but there is. And then we take that O-ring off and you install it on this guy. And then from there, you thread that back into the AOS and tighten it. Finger tight is good. Um, definitely use some decent finger tightness there um, as you don't want it to back out. In the bottom of this guy, you will want to install the 6AN to 5 16 inch adapter. Simply put on the O-ring and then the O-ring boss goes into the adapter and then it is ready to accept the hose that we will gear, um, that we will basically install on the crankcase vent and go from there. Let's do it. Hose now installed on the part that we cut off. Um, well, the OEM line was previously there and now we have that line. I hope you can see that right there. It is now hooked up. It is going over the little intake. Um, intake adapter, I guess you could call it. And then I have it snaking around here and going to the bottom of the AOS, which we have changed over to the drain back fitting there. Um, that is a 5 16 inch hose there as well. Um, that is a prototype. You will have a black fitting there, not a brass one. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so that's the routing. We'll add uh, probably a zip tie right there at the end, but otherwise it is done. All right, so before we reinstall the intake, I recommend installing the, sorry, recommend installing this piece that we basically 
um, took from the OEM part, we, we heat it up and cut it apart, and we include a nipple. And with that nipple, we can then reinstall that, and then it is a, uh, a sealed unit. Um, install one of our hose clamps there. Uh, we include a, a little worm drive guy. Do that, and then uh, the intake is ready to be installed, and, uh, and basically the install is done. All right, guys, that concludes the crankcase vent and auto drain back kit for the AOS. Hope you guys enjoyed the install and uh, I hope that it basically cures any of those issues that those of you are having uh, with the crankcase vent. Um, still don't fully understand the entire story there, but it doesn't matter. We've come up with a solution that has worked on and off track for a handful of customers and ourselves. Um, granted, we still aren't puking up oil like we've seen some customers, so we're not exactly sure what's going on there, but um, it's definitely not throwing any check engine lights or uh, causing any issues to the engine or drivetrain in, in that respect. So excited to release this and hopefully help some of you guys out. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, yeah, hit us up on all the social media outlets. Till next time.